The government has confirmed an increase in the TV licence fee of £10.50, which is a rise of 6.6%, bringing it to £169.50 per year for a colour TV licence. Now, whilst this is less than the BBC and the Office of Budget Responsibility had anticipated, it is in line with September's rate of inflation as against the average across the entire year, which, as I said previously, I think is much more reasonable. Now, many people will still be talking about abolishing the TV licence fee altogether, but I'm going to give you one possible reason in this video why that might not be the best idea. Now, I have not forgotten, and if you've forgotten, I will remind you that there were discussions coming out of uh, an assessment and discussions in the House of Lords about how the BBC should be funded going forward. This was reported in July of 2022. Under this proposal, every household in the UK would pay for the BBC through their local authority council tax bill, with lower earning families paying less for it. This, they say, would bring an end to the traditional link between the licence and owning a TV. But I dispute that for various reasons, because you can own a TV without needing the licence, because you can use a TV for far more than just live TV, but that's obviously covered in other videos. But it says that it will also ensure that people that use BBC online have to pay to use them. They say they can see a lot of potential advantages to it. They also concluded that a subscription service such as the Netflix style paid subscription to use BBC or an advertising supported model, I quote, would not produce enough money to fund the BBC in anything that resembled its current form. But query, does that not mean that there are not enough people that are watching the BBC and willing to pay for the BBC to keep it funded? Now, I'm not against the BBC, contrary to what many people might say and think. I am merely giving you points of view here. I personally do not watch live TV. I certainly don't record live TV. At best, at one stage, I used Netflix, but even I cancelled Netflix when they kept increasing the prices and I felt that it just wasn't worth paying for anymore. Because, frankly, I didn't use it very much because I'm working all the time. I was working until about 11 o'clock last night and so I don't get time for these things. But for those of you that do, I feel that you should have a choice. And if you want my personal views on these things because I'm in danger of wandering into personal views, which I don't usually do on this channel, head over to Black Belt Secrets and you'll get my personal views on the TV licensing there. But this is why, in my humble view, it may not be the best idea to scrap the license field together because it may end up with everybody paying for it, whether you like it or not. It may end up with everybody paying it through their council tax, and therefore that might be the only way that they conclude they'll be able to fund the BBC moving forward. Now, as I say, I am not against the BBC. I just feel that everybody should have a choice in what they pay for and what it pays for and what they use. And if you don't use something, you shouldn't have to pay for it. But by the by, those that do pay for it will now have to pay the increased fee of £169.50 as of, I believe, April next year having been frozen for two years. So my prediction, I will call it now, we are the 7th of December 2023, make a note, I will come back uh, a few months after April next year and see whether or not the numbers of renewals have gone down yet further because the last time I read this out, they were down over 400,000 people that did not renew this fee. So there it is, the fee is going up. We'll see what happens to the numbers. Please do subscribe for further news on this and check out my videos in the description below, which I will endeavor to remember to link where I discuss how I think some of the wording is either misleading, deceptive, or in some cases, potentially just plain wrong. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.